So I wanted to uh, play around with some 3D models for coolers for the uh, Tesla graphics cards. And I've settled on these three here. Um, kind of curious to see how they perform. Each one kind of has its pros and cons. This really isn't going to be a scientific test because, well, these fans are all capable of different air volumes and, and their configurations. So, yeah. I will be linking to the models in the description. They came from Thingiverse, and they believe they're all uh, Creative Commons with attribution required. So, yeah, try to respect, you know, people's... Uh, intellectual property when they're reasonable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, each one of these models kind of has its own little issues. This one, it didn't quite fit right for some reason, so I had to cut the corner out there to give it a little flexibility. Also, the screws it requires for mounting are really long and uh, would be kind of tricky to deal with. So I have opted to just allow this to be a friction fit since it fits in pretty tightly in the video card. This one is a really nice design, but I wish it had the uh, part that went into the video card. So you can see where these little uh, ridges here stop. Everything beyond that goes inside the video card. Well, this one is basically gonna get sit flush up against the back of the video card. So it just sits on there like that. I'll try and do this with not enough hands. <laughs> but um, otherwise, uh, the other problem with it is, is if you want to use standard uh, screws, fan screws, the holes aren't quite right for it. So the uh, fan screw configuration I went with is uh, kind of interesting. And out of the three, I would say this one's probably the easiest to work with from a mechanical standpoint. It just kind of sleeves on over the card. The bummer is it takes up a lot of space and it uses a very common and easily attainable fan off of, um, oh, shoot, Dell Optiplex 990, or well, no, we'll do the full proper model, 390, 790, 990, 3010, 7010, 9010, uh, desktop form factor computers. Or wait, no, no, small form factor, not desktop, I'm stupid. This is the small form factor fan. And there's the part number there. But um, super common and cheap, but it doesn't use a standard fan header. So you kind of have to line it up correctly, as you can see. Which means it will be a problem if you're using it with a power splitter like this that has a shielded connector. You'd either have to cut the plastic off around the pins, um, or I guess you could use an extender that had a different end. So basically, you want to keep this little tab here in the middle-ish, but then the rest of the stuff around it, um, on the sides and the top in this image, would need to go. But I'm going to pop these in the system one at a time and see how they go. So this is the setup I got going for the first one I'm testing. And this is running a dual 40 millimeter fan config with a SATA to fan power adapter that I have. And with it, I will be running folding at home like I will with the other setups. All right, well, the first uh, fan shroud assembly has been running for a bit now. And looks like we are at a fairly consistent 64 Celsius. And we start out at 35, so not too bad. It is under a fairly heavy load. 80% um, basically is the average, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, 76 is what it's showing. And what is average power draw? 130 watts, not too bad. Noise-wise, you know, it's not great. It's about as noisy as a small server would be with those fans. But it seems like temps have been keeping up good, so can't complain. Alright, so now I'm working on the single 40 millimeter fan shroud. And a little bit quieter. 
It is using the same 40 millimeter fan model as the dual fan shroud was running. So it'll be interesting to see how it performs. I'm a little conflicted on this design, but hopeful. <laughs> Well, I uh, got distracted and accidentally let this one run a little longer than the uh, first one I tested. But it doesn't look like that's really mattered because it's still sitting pretty stable. Also, I did notice I was looking at the hot spot, not the GPU temperature. But um, just going to have to stick with that. <laughs> I think in the footage you could see what the um, previous one's temperature was for GPU. But this one looks like we're pretty much staying in a stable 100 Celsius for the hot spot. It doesn't seem like it's performing as well and we are thermal capping basically the whole way across. So not so great. That's a little unfortunate because it is quieter. You could use a more powerful fan to push more air through but I'm assuming if a person's running a single fan shroud that they're probably doing that for noise reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not not so great. I was not expecting such, perform such poor performance. But off to the next one. Well, this is the third and final shroud. It's a little bit more intricate than the other ones. I kind of like the little feature they put on it where it has a cutout to show the model number of your card. But... It did uh, take up a lot more space, so it uses about three and a quarter of a slot. It's kind of pushing up against the back of that quadro. If I would have put it in the same position it was in for the other two, it was going to hit this, which I would have had to remove, and then it was going to hit the power cable for the motherboard, which I would have had to figure out how to push further that way. But moving it up to the top slot, well, I should say the top X16 slot and then moving the GPU down was what I ended up going with even though I didn't notice this uh, 8x slot. I think that's an 8x slot. Oh, oh, there we go, yeah, 8x slot there. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll see how it goes. This fan's about as noisy as the other ones unfortunately, so no... Uh, victory on the noise level but it's definitely pushing some air so yeah all right well this has been running for a while now and uh just to check on the hotspot temps here we started at 35.9 c and looks like it's been hovering around 89. so surprisingly this one didn't do as well i really don't know why i feel like that blower fan can move a lot more air than the uh, 240 millimeter fans, but um, might have to do with the design of that shroud since it kind of curves around. But uh, yeah, so that's interesting. I uh, did not expect that. I <laughs> the the uh, the 240 millimeter fan one I figured was going to be like the second best, but not the best. So yeah. And uh, no perf caps, no uh, thermal limits or anything like that being hit. It's it's on the verge. It's getting close. But, you know, um, if ambient temp is a little bit higher, I think it probably would start thermal throttling. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. Well, so that was an interesting test. It was probably obvious the one with the single 40 millimeter fan wasn't going to do the best out of the bunch. But I was not expecting the dual 40 millimeter fan to outperform the blower. I thought for sure the blower would move a lot more air volume. But, uh, yeah. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but this one is definitely, definitely the winner. It would be interesting to see how it performs with quieter fans. You know, go with some Noctua's. But definitely no thermal throttling with this one. And I don't think it would thermal throttle in a warmer environment either with these particular fans, which I don't know if I can show or not. Uh, wrong orientation. So those are the fans. They're both the same. They're just at weird uh, angles. I think probably for power cable reasoning. Yeah, I think it's because of the orientation of the power cables. But I have the, these two fans and that one are the same. Um, this one obviously took up the most space. 
I would say out of the three though, I like this one the best from a design standpoint, just because it kind of it sleeves onto the card nicely and the screw holes play nice. You probably would want to put some hot glue or something on the fan just to make sure it can't vibrate out of place. But otherwise, I would say this one's the easiest to work with. This one works the best. And this one, I guess, is better than nothing? I don't know. I think with as, with as much as the card was thermal throttling under a heavy load, I think it might as well not have even had that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, hopefully that was interesting. And like I said, the links to these models will be in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching.